Hi there, so in this video we are going to see how to use a time picker to pick the time and display it in your app. So what we are going to do is we are going to use three widgets which are time picker, text view and button. So let's start by creating one empty Android project and then inside activity underscore main XML file I'm gonna add each widget one by one so first is time picker I'm going to set its layout width and height to wrap content okay now next thing I'm gonna do is use layout and then align parent top to true then I'm also going to use Android layout and then call for center horizontal and here I'm also going to set it for true okay and then finally I'm going to use Android then margin top to let's say property at 86 dp okay you can also set id for this as at the rate plus id slash time picker one okay and you can check the design view where you can see it added you can set the text next thing we are going to add text view set it width and height to wrap content and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna set it at the top left so let's use layout align left okay so let me check layout align left to my time picker here okay the next thing I'm gonna use Android layout and then align parent top to true then next thing I'm gonna use Android then layout and then margin left so let me check margin left okay and set its value to let's say 37 dp also I'm gonna use Android layout margin top to have value let's say 55 dp and finally I'm gonna use Android ID and here let's just use at the rate plus ID slash and then text view one okay you can also use Android text equals to here you can set current time okay and you can view this change right here okay as you can see it shows you the current clock time based on our desktop and at the top you can see this text as well okay now let's go back and also add one button which should be set it to wrap content and I'm gonna use Android layout and layout below our time picker then Android layout underscore margin left of our 37 DP also Android layout margin top to 50 now we're going to also add ID for this with at the rate plus ID and then button one you can also set 
Android text equals to uh, let's say I want to say change time or you can say pick time okay and now let me check the design as you can see it is below and towards the left you can manage that if you want Let's set to 55 from left and it should reflect the design you can go even ahead with that set to 95 and it will move a bit towards the center okay now the next thing is to add the code so we will go to main activity Java and here we use okay next thing let's add button button and also time picker add the class then time picker one okay now inside for protected void on create method we are going to instantiate all of these so let's start with text v1 equals to text view and then find view by id r id dot text view so we will use text view one okay make sure that this id is correct okay and then next thing we will also use button then use our ID button one finally we will use time picker one then call for time picker find your by ID our ID dot time picker one okay now we can also set current time if we want or let the system do its work and here however I'm going to use text view one dot set text to accept one method let's name this method get current time okay and also I'm going to call button dot set on click listener here I'm going to use new view dot on click listener and inside that we are going to use public void and then our on click method okay so let's type in public void on click then view arc zero okay now here we are going to call our text view one dot set text and here you can call again get current time okay and now that we have called this method we have to also create it so outside our public void on create we are going to create public string get current time okay now once you create this method then above errors will be gone okay so create one string name let's say current time and here we're going to pass current time and then plus then time picker dot get current r okay it is deprecated method but you can still use it okay there are some alternatives but I'm going with deprecated method for now just so that some people can understand that much better 
now the next is time picker one dot so we got your our current r and minute do note that these are deprecated and instead you have to replace this okay but for now let's go ahead with that get current time that's it okay so now that we have everything we are going to run our code so open your emulator and execute your app now as you can see my app is loaded and it is showing me the current time I can also pick just by changing this let's say 830 and I'm gonna click on that and it will change it at the top okay you can also change this to some other minutes okay you can change this to 820 and then click on pick and it will reflect that in the top text view so as you can see uh, by default your text view shows the current time that is given by our phone but when we choose the time picker it will change its time and clicking on pick will make it change the value so you get the idea by default your text view shows current time and then when your button calls for that action then this method gets triggered okay and it will pick the time that you have selected with the time picker as you can see this get current hour and get current minute are deprecated and you have to replace this with new set of methods so this tutorial that I made for earlier version of Android will not be applicable for Android 25 onwards. So this was a short video on how to use Android's time picker in your app.